Hi Aquarius, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of August 14th, 2023. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, please remember these are general readings. So take a few what resonates, leave behind what does not. And uh, if you're seeking your personal one-on-one -on -one reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. You'll find a menu of options over there as well as some of the information is in the description box below. All right, Aquarius, I want to throw out there that a Gemini may or may not resonate for you, as well as a Taurus. Um, you guys are in a week of major changes. Now, also, I want to remind you that you're under the new moon this current, current week of the 14th as well. So, new things for the new moon for my Aquarius. <clears throat> this is a week about getting what you want. <clears throat> However, it comes in a form that you're not expecting. Inspect some intensity in the love life. Okay. There's a high drive for success. For some of you, there's a large lease or a purchase. I'm seeing the signing of a legal document. Hello, Mr. Harry. Um, you need to put a stop to being used by someone. Particularly between now and the end of the month. And there is a warning here to dig for your patience, which is really surprising because... The Aquarius is one of the most patient signs I have. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty significant. All right, we're going to jump into some oracles here and see where we're leading up to with this week. What we got going on for the Aquas. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And something is going to require your obedience, your diligence, you pushing forward, okay? Um... There is spirit asking, you know, to listen. Signs, synchronicities, pay attention to your dreams. Lucky number seven is there as well. There's going to be a message to come to you out of the blue, okay? Uh, and some of you are feeling like you're hitting a brick wall. You're not hitting a brick wall. You're being redirected around the wall, okay? And we have, you've also got the deceit and deception around you. I uh, want to throw out the letter N and the letter T. You have strength on your side no matter what you do. And we have their choices. These are choices that you've been putting out for too long. So you may feel like you're backed in the corner. You may feel that you're backed in the corner to make a decision. Also, there is a cattle farm here. Specifically cattle, maybe dealing with an air sign as well. And there is someone that needs your understanding or you need their understanding. There's definitely some communication going on here. You do have the card of lust as well. And we're somebody, yeah, listening, communication, understanding. There's a communication barrier or something that needs to be addressed. This could be what is causing you to dig for your patience. Uh, let me say this. Say what you need to say. Don't sit back and wonder. Don't sit back and wonder why they're not calling. Don't sit back and wonder why you're not hearing from them. Pick up the phone and ask them. Take a lot off your plate if you do. Maintain your individuality. Maintain your focus. And like I said, some of you feel like you're stuck on that hamster circle, just running around, 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 around. Well, you know what? It's up to you to jump off of it. And the moon. Yep, the moon causing some crazy energy. And like I said, new moon, new things. But I'm really seeing here that <laughs> some constructive criticism going out to my aquas. Okay? Your expectations are high. Really, really high. You may want to revamp that a little bit. But you also may want to take initiative to get some things done instead of sitting back waiting for everything to come to you. Said what I said. Let's move forward. Alrighty. A retreat. Some of you need to get away. Some of you need an overnight vacation just to get away. There's some prosperity and money coming into you. And you are actually ascending to another level. It's just not coming as quickly as you'd like to see it. There's this Stonehenge in the passageway. Some of you are experiencing some deja vu. 
truth is coming out. You know what they say, the truth shall set you free. Also, black crows may resonate with you in some form or fashion this week. There is a success. Oh, there's the patience. There is the patience. Just saying. And you have miracles, okay? So not all the signs have miracles. Let me tell you what that means. It doesn't mean pray for miracles. It doesn't mean to wish for miracles. When you have the miracles cards, it's telling you specifically to expect miracles, okay? There is purity. Power. You've got the power to do what you want. You are protected. Some of you are bouncing back strong this week in a leadership role, whether it's in your personal life or your professional. And for a lot of you, it's in your personal life, but coming in as a leadership role. And we have love here too. So now you've got the love and lust card. So is it lust or is it love or is it love or is it lust? It's up to you. Take it as it resonates. Um, let's see. Let's see what Kipper has for you guys. Let's see what Kepper has for my Aquarius. We have that you are on the right path, and that's going to be huge, okay? You also have some unexpected company coming, so expect it. You have a secret admirer here that is watching you like online, but I don't think this person is coming forward yet. There's going to be a professional male here. Someone wears a tie, business suit, someone you may be visiting. And there's a gift here as well. Okay. Um, work is work. Nothing extraordinary there. Some of you may be pulling a little bit overtime. You need to come from the abundance mindset. Okay. New things, new moon, new money. Come from the abundance mindset. Don't come from the poverty lack of. Okay, it's going to bring you down to despair. Some of you are getting a new house. So, yes, you got the house or some of you are about to sell your house. Okay, there is a message of concern you're going to have to handle. Some of you, uh, I'm going to say unexpected trip coming up. Uh, but some of you, that you do need this getaway and there's some unexpected income. Be warned of your health. Okay, be warned of your health. And I'm going to say it might be stress related. So. Watch what you're doing there. Let's jump into your tarot reading. Again, this is for my Aquarius. Hey, Lizzie B. This is for your week of August 14th, 2023. All right. We have Scorpio energy coming in with that Queen of Cups. The Knight of Cups, and we have the Star. So what we're looking at here, um, opening your heart to give love, opening your heart to receive love. And I just really feel that for whatever reason, in this particular week of the 14th, Aquarius, you have closed your heart of, and this could be off. You've closed it off due to a past hurt or something like that. It's time to reopen your heart. Queen, uh, Knight of Cups comes in, unexpected offer of love. And I really want to throw out the unexpected. Now you've got the star and that star is talking about its wish fulfillment. Not only is this wish fulfillment, there is a delay attached to this. You have the hair font, the Ace of Swords, and Justice. So the hair font talking again about coming in that mindset of the abundance. This is your... Uh, I got you. I got you. I totally understand, Ms. Dana. Uh, the hair font coming in as the manifestation. Keeping it positive, com not coming from the lack of attitude. Your center of your reading is talking about your Ace of Swords. And this is um, someone that you are currently not communicating with. It's going to reach out to you. This may, and like I said, take it as it resonates. This may be that unexpected offer of love that you are not communicating with currently. Now, justice comes in as injustice is going to restore your balance. Now, I'm going to go back to the beginning of your reading where I saw the signing of a legal document. Okay. Let's see what else we have going on here. We have the King of Cups. Wow. The Lovers. And we have 
the Ace of Wands. So what we got going on here? We're looking at uh, someone sees you as that end-all, be-all, coming in with a huge offer. There is some intensity and love coming in with the Lover's card. This person kind of mirrors you. You are very much on the same path. This could be like a soulmate twin flame connection. Yeah, I said it. So, yep, there's that. And then we have the Ace of Wands is saying that you are under a new beginning and the new beginning is the week of the 14th. And like I said, there's just lots of major changes going on for you guys. Okay. So, let's see what else we got going on. The calm before the storm. Rushing material. Okay. So, straight. So you're under the era of the calm before the storm and it's asking you to get the rest that you need while you can because you're getting ready to head into a high paced, high intensity area. This is a rushing energy. This week is going to rush by and the following week is going to rush by for you guys. And we have strength on your side, strength on your side, no matter what you do with that new beginning in love. Like I said, definitely some intensity. Somebody sees you as the emperor or the empress. Just saying someone is coming in because they see the long term with you. For you, do not pass judgment on this person because you're going to be wrong if you do. So if I went to the Romance Angels, you know that card that says that your soulmate is something that you're not expecting or something that you were different? That's what I'm seeing here. All right, gang. That's what I have for my Aquarius. Hope you guys have a fantastic week. Logging off, coming back. Last but not least, Dana. Pisces is next, so join me right back here. Bye.